In this section, we are going to understand what is destructuring in ES6. This destructuring concept is introduced in the newer version of JavaScript that is ES2015. The main purpose of destructuring, as the name says, that there is a structure which is getting broken in various pieces. Now, when we talk about a structure in JavaScript, I am going to mention two structures here. One structure is an array and the second structure is object literal. When you have an array or an object literal, extracting the data from array or object literal and assigning it to a variable is called as destructuring. For example, let's say we have an array let arr be 4, 6 and 8. So now I have three elements return in one array. Now this array is a structure. When I say destructure, that means let's say I want to have individual element in different variables. What I mean to say is I want to have three variables where I want to transfer the values. So what you can do, you can say that let, let's say variable A, B and C. I have three variables and what I want is I want to assign array to these three variables. That is I want 4 to be assigned to A, 6 to B and 8 to C. In short, I want to destructure this array and I want to assign the destructured values to individual variables. This process is called as destructuring. But if you write like this, then this is not a valid syntax. What you have to do is, here you have to mention to JavaScript compiler that these variables are getting information from a structure by a process of destructuring. So what we do when we have to destructure the array, we are going to begin this with a square bracket. So now when you say a comma b comma c in a square bracket, do not misunderstand this as an array. The left hand side values which you have are list of variables where this array is getting destructured. Now let me just try to display the value of a, b and c. So now we have three different variables a, b and c which are having 4, 6 and 8 respectively. This is the way to destructure an array. Looking at the example you can understand that an array which is getting destructure into three different variables. It might also happen that you may have a function. Let's say we have a function called test and that is returning an array. For example, return maybe the first element is high, the second is 6 and the third is maybe 9. So now this function is returning an array which I want to destructure. So I'll just say here test. I'm calling the function and this function is returning an array and that array is destructured when you write these variables in square brackets. So again if I run it's going to say high 6 and 9. This process of extracting the values from array is called as destructuring. Even extracting value from object literal. Let's say I want to destructure an object literal values. For example, I have an object obj where let's say I have a variable maybe uh, a which has a value called high comma I let's say I have B where I have value 90. So now I have an object literal which has two members. To understand what is an object literal you can refer my object literal series which is divided into three parts. So now let's say I want to destructure this object literal. How can we do that? Let A comma B that's going to be the variable and I'm assigning the object right. But again you have to make sure that this is not the way to declare a normal variable. You have to instruct the JavaScript that it is destructuring. So what are you destructuring? I am destructuring an object literal. So I am going to put 
curly brackets earlier we put square brackets because we were destructuring an array but here we are destructuring an object literal so the obj will get destructured and the members of obj will be assigned to a and b so let's try this also i'll say console.log a comma b so now the members which we had in a structure are destructured and we are referring them individually so ideally you need destructuring when there is a structured data you want to extract information from a structure